Okay, I'm going to show you some points that gambling is a wicked sin. And if you're a Christian, you have no business doing gambling. Now, gambling is becoming a big problem in Canada and also pretty much the Western world in general. Uh, I go to the store and I see betting points for certain things and, you know, people will cash in money. You can get certain cards and you bet money. It's gambling, essentially. And people are betting with their money and ruining their lives because of this sin of gambling. So I've got some points written down on how gambling is a violation of scripture. So, first of all, gambling causes somebody to think that their life consists in the abundance of what he possesses, which is contrary to what Jesus Christ said. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. And he, Jesus, said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things he, uh, of the things which he possesseth, possesseth. So gambling has a mentality of, oh, you know, get everything you can, get all you can, get all the money. But Jesus Christ says, you know, uh, your, basically your, your life is not in the abundance of what you possess, basically. Paraphrasing, of course. But life is not all about getting what you want, getting all, all the stuff, getting everything you want. It's not about that. It's about serving God and getting heavenly rewards. So gambling is a contrary, contradic contradictory ideology of that scripture. Second point, gamblers, people who gamble, want to get rich fast. They don't want to work hard and earn their money. They want a quick and easy way to get rich. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 22. He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil, law, evil eye, and considereth not the poverty that shall come upon him. You see, somebody wants to get rich fast, so you gamble, you steal people's money. We're going to get to that later on, how gambling is stealing. You want to get rich fast, well, guess what happens? You're going to lose, and you're going to lose all your money. You know, poverty shall come upon him. That's what happens. You want to get rich fast, it's going to cost you. Because people, you know, most rich people are not legitimately rich, they're not just from rags to riches, that kind of stuff. Uh, most of them are just Satanists who bow down to Satan, Satan gives them worldly riches. You can read the book of Luke chapter 4, uh, Satan gives them the kingdoms. Satan is the god of this world. That's what he's referred to as. So they bow down to Satan, Satan gives them riches. They don't earn it themselves. Um, you earn money by working. That's a legitimate way. You do it the proper way, then you won't be dirt poor. You do it by gambling and other sinful methods, you'll be dirt poor. Poverty will come upon you. Third point, gamblers are not content with what they have. They're covetous and they want more money and riches. Just want more and more and more. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 5. Oops, sorry, it was, no, sorry. It was um, 13, verse 5. Sorry, I went 3, verse 5. Sorry, wrong passage, my bad. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, not 3. Let your con let our yeah, sorry. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Does gambling cause you to believe that way? You're you're content with what you have. No, you want more. You want more. You just want more and more and more. You know, it's a contradictory ideology of the word of God. And next point, gambling is motivated by, motivated by one thing: money and the love of money. First Timothy chapter six verse ten. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which some coveted after, after they have erred from the faith and, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So, you love money, it's basically just want money, you want money, and the love of money is the root of all evil. That's why most of these gambling things, these, most of these casinos are run by gangs and criminals and, and just wicked people. Uh, it's the love of money, it's the root of all evil. People will do anything for money. So that's what gambling is motivated by, and that's, again, contradicting scripture. Next point, gambling is stealing. Plain and simple, it's stealing. Gamblers are stealing someone else's money when they win the bet. They haven't earned that money, they have worked and earned it. They're stealing it through some cheap bet. Hebrews, or not Hebrews, uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. 
does gambling cause you to do that? Like hitting that stole steal no more. No, you keep going back to the casino and stealing more money and then winning the bet and you lose the bet, someone steals your money. You know, the money you stole, so they stole it back and you know, whole cycle like that. But you're not laboring, you're not working with your hands. You're just driving down to the casino, betting some money and you know, you're not working for that money, you're stealing it. It's wicked. And final point, gamblers are never satisfied with what they have. Never. They always want more. Why do you think they keep going back to the casino? Because they want more and more and more. Again, it goes back to the love of money thing. It goes back to not being content with what they have. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 10. I do apologize, my uh, family is making a racket in the background. Ecclesiastes 5, 10. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase, there is also vanity. They're not going to be satisfied. They always want more. They just keep going back and getting more money. And then, oh, I need more. I want to get rich. And, and then keep stealing more people's money, not laboring with their hands. It's a big mess you get yourselves into. Gambler, gamblers are never satisfied. And then when they lose all of it, then they're really not going to be satisfied because they're going to be dirt poor. So those are the points I have written down. Gambling is a wicked sin. It is uh, stealing money. It's causing you to be jealous and not be content with what you have. And you're never going to be satisfied. It's motivated by the love of money. So don't do gambling, it will ruin you. Uh, do it God's way and work and earn your money. Don't be lazy, don't just want to bet it all away and lose it and then now you're dirt poor. Work and earn for a, li work your, work for a living and earn your money, I'll say it that way. You know, the Bible says, you know, if you don't, if a man doesn't work, now they shall you eat. Paraphrasing, of course, but you're supposed to work and earn your money, not have some cheap way to get rich, okay? And by the way, um, none of the apostles were you know, rich and lived in big mansions on the hill. And Jesus Christ was not rich when he was on this earth either. There were some rich people back in the Old Testament, um, but nobody, none of the apostles, especially not the apostle Paul, who was our apostle for today, he was not rich, okay? He traveled to places, he wrote letters to the churches, but, you know, the love of money is the root of all evil. That's simple. And gambling is the love of money. It's basically covetousness. That's all it is. It's theft. So, don't be deceived. Stay away from gambling. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.